Yo, what's going on guys, Sirius here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the crashing problem on Black Ops 3 and the fix for it. Now, a lot of YouTubers have been making videos or tweets and etc. about this, and there's a lot of things that they got really wrong, so I'm just gonna put this all to rest now because I'm the one who made the patch and I've reversed this game a lot. I have a lot of experience with it, and you know, I just wanna start this video by addressing some of the things that are completely wrong about it, and then I'm going to show you guys how to use the patch, what it does, and the other things that you can do to protect your game. Because contrary to popular belief, you absolutely can play Black Ops 3 completely safely on zombies. Multiplayer, don't go into multiplayer. There's literally no point in doing that. There's cheaters everywhere. But on zombies, you can absolutely play with your friends with no crashing risk at all. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and play a couple clips from Mr. Selectify's video because I do want to give some context as to why I even bothered to make this. And a lot of you might be asking, well, okay, there's a fix. People have been making patches for these. Yes, these patches have been released, but unfortunately, there are the virginity is rampant so hard within these hackers that they decide to make a whole new mod menus and specifically test them on YouTubers and streamers and speedrunners such as myself and make sure that we will never ever be able to play this game online ever again there is never going to be a solution for this all right so obviously yes they do target youtubers because it gives them attention it's something that they desperately need that is why this whole thing happens to begin with but the thing that is completely wrong is that there will never be a fix there's been a fix for a very long time and that fix is specifically setting up a new steam account and playing with the patch so that they have no way to send these crashes to you for anyone who's not aware the way these crashes work they get your steam id and then once they have your steam id they have to use a function in the game called dw instant send message this function allows them to request information about your game so that they have a way to send the other crashes to you if this message doesn't respond, the only way that they can send any information to you is by getting your IP address. If you are playing on a VPN, you're playing on an alternate Steam account, there's no way this is even going to go through. And what the patch does is it lets you set a little box that lets you decide to only accept information requests from friends. So if you have that enabled, nobody can get that information that they need from you to even send a crash to you to begin with. Now this is something I've been trying to explain for a very long time, but it seems like most of the YouTubers just completely omit this. You can game share on Steam. You can set it up with family sharing settings to where you can keep all your Black Ops 3 content, your, your workshop content, everything will still be installed and you're just playing on an alternate account and it makes it to where these quote unquote hackers can't get your IP address and they can't get the information they need to send you these crashes. Now if they're in your lobby, they can send you these crashes, which is why I say to kind of avoid multiplayer, but we'll get more into that in a minute. Thank goodness there are some people in the community, such as Anthony here, who's releasing patches for certain mod developers and certain mod menus. It's just not enough because I feel like even with these patches, I've tried running the games with these patches, I've tried downloading them, even though it's super malicious and super scary because so I want to address that. First of all, my tool is not malware. It's not malicious. It doesn't have anything bad in it. I've been making free stuff for years, all the way back to 2013. I've been releasing tools for the community, completely free, never once had malware. And to call a developer's tool malicious is extremely dangerous, especially when you have influence like this, Mr. Telexify, if you're watching this video, what you've done is implied that my software is not trustworthy which means that everything that i've ever worked on is now coming into question that is a huge problem and that can completely destroy my reputation so i would really appreciate if you would not say things like that or if you would be more careful about the way that you talk about these tools because that would basically completely take me out of the equation in in the community for no reason even though i'm just trying to help it's just some random patch that somebody has made because Treyarch will not make it themselves. Every time I've ran a patch on stream to try and play online, it doesn't work. And I don't know if the solution here is for me to make an account because just like I showed you guys with the mod menu before, you can literally see anybody who's online and you can literally boot off the entire server of the game. 
So for you saying it's not working, uh, my advice to you, Mr. T-Lexify, is to just send me a DM on Twitter and ask for help. That's what Mr. Raffle Waffles did. That's what Mr. Dalek JD did. That's what various smaller YouTubers have done. That's what people in the community do. Just ask me for help. I want the tool to work for everybody. If you're having trouble, just ask me for help. It does work. My friends and I play online constantly. We never have crashing issues. And it is, even when people are trying to crash us, because I, I mean, I've been streaming recently and I have a lot of people that don't like me because I made the patch and they try their damnedest to crash us and they can't do shit because we have this stuff set up correctly. So if you need help, just ask me. Now, I will also say it is partially my fault as well for not having created an official tutorial for this. So I'm going to do that right now and show you guys exactly what you need to do to play safely in zombies. Again, I reiterate, multiplayer, all of this goes out the window. There are constantly new crashes being created. There are constantly new exploits. If you get in somebody's lobby with them, they are immediately able to access your IP address and it's, it, it's over from there. It has nothing to do with the patch. They can just hit you offline. So what I'm telling you works for co-op zombies, you know, playing mod tools, etc. That's all going to work. Anyways, enough rambling. Sorry, I, I did this unscripted. Uh, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so we're on my PC, and before we even download the patch, we're going to do the Steam portion, because the Steam portion is very important if you are already a person of interest, i.e. you're a YouTuber, you're someone who the community doesn't like, or for whatever reason, you're on that XUID list that they've got in their tool. What you need to do is you need to make an alt Steam account. Once you have made the alt Steam account, log back into your main account, and then you're going to go into Steam, Settings, you're going to go into family and you're going to authorize library sharing on this computer. When you click that, you're going to get sent an email. You're going to go into that email and you're going to you're going to authenticate it. Once you got that set up, you're going to switch to your other account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Now, if you did everything correctly, when you go onto your alt on Steam, you're going to see borrow right here. You go ahead and click borrow, request access, and mine request failed, don't worry about that because I already recorded this and messed it up. You're going to get an email, and you're, all you got to do is go to that email and click Authorize. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Now, I went to my email. I clicked Authorize. Now the button on Black Ops 3 says Play. You have successfully shared everything on your Black Ops 3 over to this account. That includes your DLC. The only thing it does not include is your workshop content. You have to go and resubscribe to it, but you don't have to re-download it it should already have it downloaded and it will detect it so when you resubscribe on this account it's it's already going to be there so you don't have to re-download everything if that was something that you were even worried about so once you've got that set up what you need to do is make sure that you never leak the name of your steam account if you leak this it, they're going to be able to go steam search you and and find your extra id but this is all an extra precaution because if you use the patch correctly you don't even have to worry about that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use the patch now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your web browser and go to github.com slash shiversoftdev slash t7 patch. I'm going to leave that link in the description. It will be the top link. Go to this link, go to the releases tab and download this zip file. Now you might get this warning in Chrome or whatever you're using, just click this little arrow, click keep. The reason it warns you is because I have used an obfuscator on this program. It protects against reverse engineers so that people cannot go into my code and figure out how to do some of the exploits that I know about that they don't. It's basically making it harder for these people to improve their tools, which is why it's not an open source tool anymore. Now, if you get download failed virus detected, you have to go whitelist the file in your antivirus. If you don't know how to do that, you're going to have to look it up on Google because I can't make a tutorial. There's over 100 antiviruses. There's no way I can make a tutorial on how to whitelist in every single one. So if you get virus detected or anything like that in your download, you just have to whitelist it on your antivirus. You can even disable it temporarily, although I would not recommend doing that. I would recommend just whitelisting the program. Um, you can go ahead and open the zip file. 
you can just select all these. Um, I'm using WinRAR. Um, Windows has a built-in zip tool, so you don't really have to download anything extra. Um, if you don't know how to extract a zip file, you can also look that up. Just go ahead and extract it. And I'm just going to put it on my uh, desktop in my YouTube folder. It doesn't matter where you put it. You can put it anywhere. Um, and once you've extracted it, you want to go ahead and go to that folder. So now that I'm in the folder where I extracted it, I'm going to run this patch. If it fails to run, it gets deleted, whatever. Again, you're going to need to go into your antivirus and whitelist it. Just make sure that you whitelist this in your antivirus and you're going to be all good. Um, once it's running, you're going to have this unknown soldier here. You can change this to whatever you want. Just don't name it the same thing as your Steam account because you don't want them to know your Steam name. This is any name. It doesn't matter what it is. You can put whatever you want. This is the other important thing. Make sure you have friends only checked. If you don't have friends only checked, they're going to be able to info request you and pull information about like your IP address and what you're doing in your lobby, etc. You don't want them to be able to do that. So put on friends only and make sure you don't add anybody who's suspicious. Your goal here is keeping information close. You don't want them to have your Steam ID. You don't want them to have the Steam ID of any of your friends. So your friends need to also run this patch. If they don't run this patch, you're just as vulnerable as you were before. If you are already on their list, you need to make sure that you're running a VPN. If you're not running a VPN, a lot of them have IP databases that they can query up. Um, now, this isn't very public. This is only a few private tools. But if you want to be completely safe, you need to make sure that you have a different IP address too. So just use a VPN. They're all over the place. They're sponsors for some of the YouTubers. I just use a VPN. That's not that hard. Um, once you've got the tool ready to go, I mean, that's really all there is to the tool. Make sure anytime you play Black Ops 3 that this tool is running in the background. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. Just make sure it's running in the background. You want it running before you run Black Ops 3 because if you run it afterwards, you're going to have issues. Go ahead, run Black Ops 3, and um, I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like whenever the patch is running. You'll, you'll know what it looks like. All right, so once you get to this screen, you want to just sit here. Wait until the patch loads. You'll see it because the top of the window is going to have this new icon and it'll say community patch by Sirius. You'll also see patch 1.03 or whatever version it is whenever you get it by Sirius at the top right. Once you've got that, you're protected, okay? You want to go into the game and you're going to see your name is spoofed. And if you change the name at any point, like let's say I don't want to be Unknown Soldier anymore. Let's say I want to be Sirius. You just go into a lobby. Oh, it takes a second to, to load. Well, anyway, we'll pretend it changed there. There we go. So I had to switch to zombies, whatever. It's a little buggy there. But uh, once your name's spoofed, you're good to go. I will say that it is in your best interest to never play multiplayer at all on PC. And the reason I say that is because there's exploits on the dedicated servers. You can't do anything about that. I can't patch that. It's only up to Treyarch. There's nothing you can do. Multiplayer's dead in Black Ops 3. Do not play multiplayer. Uh, but anything else should be fine. You can play campaign, if anybody still does that. You can play zombies, which is what most people are interested in. Um, you can play dead ops, you know, all that stuff. Um, now, what I will say as well, um, you can see stuff like, for example, the quick join UI. That's leaking names of your friends. Um, if anyone in your lobby is also going to be susceptible, you need to make sure that as the host of your game, you don't let anybody in your lobby who's not patched. Because if you do that and you let somebody in there that's not patched and then someone pulls information on them, well, guess what? Now you're compromised. Again, it's a lot of stupid stuff to deal with, but let's face reality. Treyarch is never going to update this game, and this is what you got to do to stay safe on the game. Um, it's a lot of setup, but after you get it set up, that's it. You're good to go. Um, I will say that the patch is incompatible with all mod menus that are currently out there right now. Um, do not try to use stuff like MXT or Lairware or whatever. You try to use that, it's not going to work with the patch. Um, there are also problems with certain mods, specifically Zombie Blood Rush, which is my mod. Don't use the patch with that because I've already got the patch on ZBR. Whenever you play ZBR, the patch is automatically loaded, so don't use it on ZBR. 
everything else, you should be good to go, and that's it. I'm rambling at this point. Again, unscripted video is my fault. Um, hopefully that clarified things for you guys, because it's uh, really disheartening to see people continuing to get messed with on Black Ops 3, even though there is a solution out there. Now, uh, another thing I'm going to say, if you do get crashed while running the patch, go into your Black Ops 3 root directory and copy the crashes.log file and send it to me because I can take that file and figure out whatever they did to crash your game and I can add a new thing to the patch and boom, you're automatically helping the entire community by sending that to me. So please do that if you do get crashed while running this tool. Anyways, I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope that this clarified the problems and clarified how to set up the patch. If it still didn't, send me a message and we can talk and I can see what I can do to get it running for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.